Another day, another update. The developers keep working too hard, this time in the Workbench engine. Let's open the WaspBot uh, blend file that is available on Blender.org for everyone to try. This new setting, um, it's a Workbench setting. Uh, it's, a, it's a way to pre-visualize your, your scene. The Workbench engine is this new engine that is meant to, um, to help you work better basically so in cycles and Eevee you set your your shaders to look awesome but the workbench is to actually work right and one of the things that you do when you actually work is to test your um, your shaders your, um, your everything basically with a different kind of lighting in different situations so instead of you having to move the lights around or try different um, lighting setups or HDR now you can actually tell Blender which HDR you want to use as a background, and this is this can be custom. So uh, just a, a quick roundup of the things that you can do to test your shading. You can see it with a different, with a um, single color. You can also use random colors. You can have flat lighting, studio lighting, you can have shadows. You can have all this kind of stuff. You can also see the textures. So you can actually see just the textures applied to your model. But you can also um, in this new way of pre-visualizing is changing the HDR. So you select it from a list. Right now there's only, uh, there is the default, which is nothing. And then there is one that is included for now. And uh, it was taken from the cloud. I think it's from Greg Sal. It's, um, it's, um, it's an HDR basically that you can just move around and you can test the, uh, your, your scene with this HDR. So if um, you look around, you will see it's a bit uh, pixelated. Ideally, this could be hidden or even blurred in the background. So you don't actually look at it. You just care about the lighting. And with this lighting, you can also change the rotation. You can um, um, rotate just to see how it looks. You have these two little balls here, down here, which are for um, like a Pre-visualize how it how would it look in a completely um, uh, metallic sphere in this case, completely reflective. And the second one right now it's a bit reflective, but yeah, it's gonna be completely diffuse. So you have a, a way to compare. This is very common in game engines, I, um, I believe. Um, just just to compare how would the material look in a um, something that it's generic, right? Completely metallic, completely diffuse. Uh, something that is going to be added to is, is a color palette there, so you can see how they re how colors react. Um, but um, basically, also you would be able to hide these little balls if you don't if you don't like them. But the coolest thing is that these um, HDRs you can pick them, you can add your own. So um, in your Blender installation, uh, when you install your settings, when you have your your scripts, uh, your add-ons, your presets. For the time being, well, this will have a better UI, but for the time being, you can, to test it, you can make a, a folder called data files. Inside, you can make another folder, you have to, <laughs> that is called studio lights. And inside, there are two folders that you can use where you can add your own uh, HDRs. In this case, uh, for the HDR, the folder has to be called world. And there you can place anything. For example, I have the Blender Institute here that I like, and the verde images. Um, they can be JPEG, but they can also be HDR. And if you uh, close and open Blender again, you would see the options here available, basically. So when you're in HDR, you can select them from the list. So the ones that was added and, and the ones that uh, were already built in with Blender. So in this case, you can be at the, the old Blender Institute when we were in the south of Amsterdam and you can rotate. So this is an easy way to personalize. I want, I want, actually, I want to see the, the wasp with this <laughs> background. Um, you can check how is your, your um, scene doing with the different kind of lighting. And let's, let's bring it to the Blender Institute. Nice. Uh, of course, this can be affected by the lights here. If you can disable, if you want to disable the lights, you can disable anything basically, and uh, see it only affected by it. Um, I think for uh, right now, the implementation is still a work in progress. It's being affected by the uh, studio lights, but ideally it won't. Uh, and in the final implementation, it's going to be only implemented by 
the um, oh, sorry only affected by the HDR that you select. So it's a work in progress, but it's actually pretty pretty neat because then it means that you don't have to actually go and move select your lamps and move them around to see how the light would affect it. You just use a different HDR or your collection of HDRs. Um, and that's it. So it's pretty awesome. This is being uh, worked on by uh, your own backer. It's in the part of the Workbench engine, but it's also using EV there. So Clema was also helping. And this is part of the Cold Quest. So super awesome. And yeah, go play, play with it.